Hi friends, this is part 3 of user registration in Anglo 6 application. In this video, we will discuss how to implement reset operation and validation for this user registration. Okay, let's start. Um, here I am going to create a reset form function which contains single parameter form which is of the type ng form. Here we have added a corresponding import statement for this ng form. Inside that, um, call a uh, reset function form dot reset then uh, we want to reset the properties inside this user object for that this dot user here inside this user model class we have five properties uh, which all we have resetted as empty string okay then we want to call this function in ng on init life, life sorry life cycle here this dot reset form here we don't have value for this form parameter for that i am going to make this form parameter as nullable and i want to add if statement here inside this uh, form not equal to null okay then i want to add form validation inside this form for that, I am going to make uh, this username and a password as a mandatory field for this application. For that, we can add required attribute here for username and okay. And we have to in add class validate. Okay, save this and go back to the application here. Okay, if I enter something in username text box, then clear the text box. Here, we have the validation error indicates with red border. For same as password, remove the text. So, it also like username. Okay, these styles are added in this um, styles.css file. Here, input controls with these two classes, ng invalid and ng dot. These two styles will be applied for validation error. Okay. By default, when a form loads, this form loads. Um, if the control is valid, means then it will have a class ng valid. If the control is not valid, then it will have a in class ng invalid. Apart from that. It will have ng pristine class. If we change something inside this text box, okay, ng pristine class will be replaced by ng dot. If there is a text box with these two classes, ng invalid and ng dot, will show you the validation error. So here we are want to show the validation error message. For that, we can add data error attribute. Inside that, uh, we can show the message required field. Okay, let's check. Here, um, enter something text here, then remove the text. Text. Then something mistake. We have to correct that. I think this class validate is not working because it's related to the version problem materialized css that we referred in index.html here we used 1.0.0 dash beta make sure our link should be this one 0 0.100.2 uh, not one of the newer pre all power versions there is a list of links you can see your okay this is the list. Make sure our um, reference library is older than 1.0.0 all pump. And then form validation should work now. Okay, let's check. Here we have to save the file. Mm, enter something text and clear the text box. Then here, sorry, here some autocomplete text is suggesting. We have to disable that for that 
we can add auto complete of okay then here we will enter something text then clear the text box then click again here we have the validation error message required field like that we can add error message for password also for this password text box already we added required attribute under class validate um, now we want to add one more validation because it's length here we add min length it should be three characters and here we will display the error message for that i am adding this attribute dot data error prop attribute here we have the two message required field and a minimum three characters needed okay let's check how it works here enter some data then remove the data then click again here first we have the required field message enter here we have to enter three characters okay two three okay now the validation is succeeded finally we want to add um, validation for email text box that means text inside this text box should be valid email format for that i am going to define the variable here in sign up component email pattern inside this we have given regular expression for valid email in html here we have to add the pattern attribute for email text box this email pattern text should match with this email pattern variable okay save this and here we have a message for error validation data error invalid email okay save the modification and let's look enter something in email text box it indicates the validation error in red border okay if I complete with this email format the validation is succeeded okay finally um, I want to disable this submit button um, initially if I enter something in text boxes um, that time only the submit button is enabled for that um, we can add in submit button we added disabled attribute user registration for this is the local reference of this user registration form dot valid okay let's check save the file here see here initially the submit button is disabled if I enter something here now the submit button is enabled okay in this form email is not a mandatory field but uh, it should be email format finally I want to make this type password instead of this text okay in HTML page change this text to password save this and uh, go back to the browser here try to enter something um, it will shown as sequence of dots okay here we have to note one thing when we want to validate form control in angular application normally we will do like this we will check with these classes but in case of this front end uh, materialized CSS if we add this um, class validate to that form control it will automatically manage its validation so no need to use this um, in style sheets when you are this part when you are using some other uh, front-end framework like a bootstrap you may need to use this so now we don't need this uh, um, let's come and okay now um, here we have completed angular 6 user registration form okay in our next video we'll discuss how to create a web api project for this application thank you for watching this video